And you see this nice Lone Star Comics slash My Comic Shop box here. Could this possibly be the cheapest graded CGC graded comic book deal ever? Let's find out. What's happening, comic fans? Yes, it is that time of the month again. My comic shop order for February has arrived. It is a large box, as you can see, but not even because it has a bunch of back issues, because I do have a few, a nice little set of back issues in here, but one of them just happens to be bigger than the rest, so I needed some more space for it, so that's what they did this for, so let's crack it open. All right, people, got a fat stack of pre-orders, as well as... Some nice back issue goodness there. Let's jump right in. We got Action Comics. Uh, where's the number at? Oh, 1061 Bizarro there. Got that Bacalo cover. Yes. No action. Just talking. Because there's Bizarro there. And we got Action or Adventure Man. Not Action Man. Adventure Man. Ghost Lights number one. So number one or two. So just I just want both covers. Just because. Of course, you got to get the Dotson cover. Terry and Rachel Dotson. Always putting it down. And this one was, I forgot. Is that Slay? Maybe. Here's the tag, but I like the coloring on that one, especially. And then jump over to Marvel. We've got Avengers Twilight Dreaming, part three, number nine. The Wolf, ooh. Uh, Blade number seven is the Wolverine, 50 Years of Wolverine cover. And it is homage to that Thor and Silver Surfer cover. And even, if, even after already looking at this, I just realized that he's on. Server server surfboard right there. Didn't notice that before. Cool as hell. Uh, still my favorite Wolverine costume. Uh, Captain Marvel number four. Get that. Ooh, I like the coloring on that. And then, ooh, King Spawn number 29. Look at that. Sweet, sweet, gory action. Yes. Uh, another Gang War tie in. Miles Morales Spider Man number 15. And then here's the other half of Mark Brooks' Rise of the Powers of X cover. Uh, this is a variant here. Fall of the House of X. So, yes, I believe the other half came in my last shipment, I want to say. Fairly certain. And then Sabretooth War, Part 1, Wolverine number 41. The most violent Wolverine story ever told. Parental advisory, not for kids. You heard that. But let's be honest. Uh, as kids, we were reading all sorts of things. So... Uh, drop in the comments below some of the wildest things you read in comics as a kid. It's just either action, gore, whatever it was. Drop in the comments. Let's hear about it. Uh, an ASM uh, 42 Gang War tie-in. And oh my goodness. More Dan Moore. Dude, just Dan Moore is just... I gotta, did I meet Dan Moore? I think I did, actually. Yeah. And just a fantastic talent. I just can't get enough of his uh, work. So uh, Batman Superman World's Finest, number 23. Black Panther, the X-Men's Monet demands an audience with the king. So listen, if you like Monet from the X-Men, go back and read the uh, end of X-Men Legacy, the original 1991 X-Men title, the turn of X-Men Legacy after issue 200, like seven or eight or something. And then she had a string of issues towards the end of that run where she was all involved in, or am I thinking of Frenzy? Damn it. But Monet was involved in the X-Men title. So one of those two titles, she had a, a string of issues or she got a lot of shine in. And yeah, she's a champ. Uh, DNA cover, Nine Lives, Part 3, Catwoman, number 61. So just just nice to see a uh, title just go. Like, we're up 60 plus issues now. The other title she had from the early 2000s ran, I think, 80, 82 to 83 issues, give or take. Somewhere in the 80s. And, of course, we got Double D, uh, number five, Daredevil She-Hawk there. And then Kale New Cover for Invincible Iron Man, number 14. Nightwing, number 110. Who's this one? Was this a Dan Mora cover, too? Sure is. Variant cover by Dan Mora. And then, ooh, uh, Spawn the Scorched, number 25. Spawn Scorched, a.k.a. the Scorched. And Superman number 10, a little westerny there. The good, the bad, and the super. I would like to be a part of the super. Thank you very much. High Evolutionary, uh, X-Men number 30, Fall of the House of X, and Detective 1081. 
There's a whole lot of comics. It's 1,081. Flash, number five. I like that blue there. And, of course, you got PG, Power Girl, number five. Flexing for the gym crowd. Ah, oh, this is sharp, too. Getting closer to that Spawn 350. There's Spawn 349. Yes. That is nice. Getting more tie in Spider Woman. Uh, number three. Get that. Oh, they always use green really well with her, especially with her powers. I always appreciate that. And first facsimile in there a bunch. Flash 123. Superman DC National Comics. Flash, help me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Featuring Flash of Two Worlds. A spectacular story that is sure to become a classic. And I'm sure it did. Uh, X-Force 48. Almost at 50. And then another. Here is ASM 252 facsimile edition. And I actually just picked up a copy, original copy of ASM 252. Well, it's 2024 now. So that was either early, early last year, or maybe the end of the year before, give or take, within the last year or so. Uh, Batman Superman World's Finest, annual 2024. In this issue, Bumblebee, Metamorpho, shout out to Metamorpho, Challenges of the Unknown, don't care about them. And a whole bunch of creators down there. And my main man, Carnage, number three. Yes. Oh, yes. Back to image. We got Philadelphia number 33. Savage Dragon on the cover. That title is just going wild. King Spawn number 30. Simon Twitch. Marvel Legends Voices number one. Again, another one of those uh, anthology uh, entries there. So I always appreciate those. And who did this cover? Oh. You have a Julian Totino Tedesco cover for Wonder Woman number five. Looking like an absolute champ. Another one of DC's uh, standouts. Hopefully this foil shows up well. Power Girl. This should be uncovered by Sway. Pretty sure this is Power Girl uncovered. Yes. So it should be just a bunch of uh, art or kind of reprinting some cover art. By different creators of Power Girl over the year, over the years, and then happy happy birthday, Logan! Uh, Sabretooth War Part Two, Wolverine number forty two, and then Avengers number ten, Twi uh, Twilight Dreaming Part Four, Captain Marvel and Thor there, and the Joker Year One Part One, Batman one forty two, Red Hood, and Birds of Prey number six. Right. Yes. Uh, by cover, Chris Bacalo and Jaime Mendoza. Always down for my Bacalo covers. You already know that. I oh, can't remember who did this one. Uh, Captain America number six, Black History Month variant there. Featuring Falcon Captain America. Gunslinger Spawn number 28. Sweet, sweet green. Dual wielding, baby. And Jen Bartell, uh, Sensational She-Hawk number five, featuring Captain Marvel, makes Jen an offer she cannot refuse. I wonder. And then X-Men 31, Nimrod. And the last issue of the pre-orders is a facsimile. We have Young Romance number 125, September. I, I'm in love with Teddy. You're in love, Tina, but not with Teddy. You turned to him because I ignored you. Featuring his brother's love. So, yes, that is all the pre-order goodness there. And then we got some sweet back issue action. One, one book I've been wanting for so long. This is Metal Gear Solid, Volume 2. So, this was, I think it was a 12-issue series. Chris Oprisco and Ashley Wood, who's a fantastic artist. But, Volume had both volumes on my uh, want list. And this one came in stock. It says it's a fine, but I mean, it looks pretty sharp here. And I didn't really care. It was like three bucks or something. So hopefully I can find part one at some point. Cause I still want to read that and just check that out. Cause Metal Gear Solid uh, was one of my favorite games. And then this one's not so uh, old, but it was just one I didn't get. Steve McNiven cover for Immortal X-Men number 18. Just another 60th anniversary, X-Men 60th anniversary cover. Kind of an homage there. So, yeah, to get that Magneto, Cyclops, Wolverine, Storm, Beast, and Rogue. 
and yeah, all out action there. So, and jump over to some Avengers action. This is actually Avengers 50th one. Daniel Acuna, one cover that I missed for Avengers number 16 from the 20th or from the 2013 series, volume five. So they say, but hey, look at that. Jacosta, Rage. Yeah, so just one I missed. So happy to snag that. As well as this one by Bill Sienkiewicz. This absolutely stunning Human Torch cover. Fantastic Four number nine. This variant here. There's another one that I missed. That orange and yellow. Everything about this is just incredible. So just one I missed. Finally popped up. Wantless. And yep, snag that. Oh, well, this one was just one. I was like, hey, kind of came across Marvel Legacy number one. Mark Brooks, just because I just didn't have it. And it's Mark Brooks. Love his art. I think it is a wraparound. It might be. Yeah. So I had to pick that up, of course. And finish up with some ASM books. I've said I am picking up uh, ASM heavy this year. 2024 is going to be big as far as my wallet list and just a lot of things I'm going to have extra focus on. And here's one that I swore I had. And every time I check, I'm like, I always feel like I already have it, but apparently missed it. ASM 359, Cardiac Attack, The Return of the Villain You Demanded. So finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and snag it now. And just to guarantee that I got the direct edition. And it'd be funny if down the line, I just find it in my collection randomly. That would just be some wild shit that might just happen. And one of the stars of the show of this haul here, AS, we're going way back, Silver Age action, Spider-Man, Doc Ock, we got Day Staff on the cover. Yes, this absolute beauty of a cover. ASM 55. Oh man, it was these two books I actually just missed the cutoff from being in my last haul. But yeah, I was looking at it, comparing some copies and the price and this one, the condition. I was thinking, yep, that's the one. I like the date stamp. Date stamps, I don't know, something about them kind of add a little extra flavor to them, give them a little bit of extra character which I absolutely dig and you know, I love reflective covers kind of like not physically reflective, but you know, they kind of portray a reflection on them. So I always dig that. And you got the tentacles, Spider-Man kind of fighting them off. Doc Ox kind of, I don't know what you call that. Look, growl, snarl kind of face, whatever. But yeah, we're not done yet. We got one more book left. That's right. The tall boy. So we're going to flip this around and do the big reveal of this Cool little book here so let's do it all right i'm sure the suspense is absolutely killing everybody so finally let's get to the reveal the surprise pickup of this haul here because it was just kind of a random thing i was looking through this one title it is cowboy ninja v or not cowboy ninja bebop that's cowboy bebop the anime uh cowboy ninja viking which is an image title uh aj lieberman and riley rossmo who is just stylistic as all hell so slipping through scrolling through their issues there and saw this one i was thinking what look at this it was like 13 bucks 12 13 bucks probably the cheapest graded comic i've ever cgc graded comic i've ever seen cowboy ninja viking number four in a 9.6 and i figured honestly it was just a what the hell purchase I'm like what like 12 13 dollars i will absolutely take it so this is cool as hell Cowboy Ninja Viking. And I do have both collected editions of this. It's a 10 issue series. I think the first volume is six issues and the second book holds the last four. I don't even have all the single issues, but I will at some point because again, it's just a cool ass story. Oh my goodness. This character, the lead character who has all the identities of Cowboy, a Ninja, and a Viking. So at least two thirds of those are awesome. Then there's a Viking. But yeah, it was just cool as hell. Like, why the hell not? So, again, $12, $13. I just didn't want to pass it up and figure what the hell. And I will track down the rest of the single issues just because it's still a cool ass story. And again, I like uh, Riley Rossmo's art. So, yeah. So, also, drop in the comments below. What is the cheapest graded book you've ever picked up or price you've ever seen? Doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be just from CGC, but just any of the grading companies. I'm curious as hell just some of the things you might have come across uh so yeah and also what was your last just what the hell comic purchase like you saw something figured oh 
why the hell not? Let's just do it. So that is that. Uh, MyComicShop.com. February shipment. Pre-issue or pre-orders. Got some dope back issues. And of course, this little cheap gem there. Cool as hell. Just for the collection there. So yes, uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. All the good stuff. What you got looking for? What you're looking forward to? What you're picking up? What you got your eyes on? All that good stuff. Let's hear about it in the comments below. Let's have some fun. Let's engage and talk comics. So make sure you check out the socials. X slash Twitter, Instagram. This is Gino Toss Comics. Happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting, and peace out.